Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, nice to see you, Elisa. Uh, Navy. Evaristo and Ana Silva, welcome. Okay, hi. How are you? Very good, thank you. Ah, you're good. That's great. So we're going to wait just two minutes and then we're going to start with the class for today, I mean tonight, and uh, let me share to you the, the screen of the presentation that we're going to be checking today. Let's see. There you have it. Uh, well, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, first of all, I have a lot of questions uh, that you send me through WhatsApp. So, and I will be answering uh, some of them today, uh, I mean, tonight. Um, those are related to the platform. Uh, some exercise that you didn't complete because um, it, it, it was showing you a, a mistake, but let's see what happened. So, let me see. Person. Is Sara Sandoval here? Not yet. Okay, well. Let's see, uh, do you have any questions for me before starting the class? Right now, no. No, okay, Mr. Evaristo, hi. Hi, teacher, um, no, I don't have any question right now. Okay, very good. Uh, Navy? It's me, Navy is computer, Elisa is cell phone. Okay. Um, let's see who else. I have just four people here. Very good Salvadorian people. Huh? Sorry? Very good Salvadorian people. Never on time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. You're just four, but you're on time. Yeah. That's great. Let's see, uh, Elisa. Yeah. Right. You have opened your microphone. How are you? How, how do you feel today? Uh, have you been practicing English? Actually, I didn't. You didn't? Uh, well, um, let's see. Which uni are you developing right now? Uh, which section in this case? I am beginning today platform in class. Last mm -hmm. week was a very difficult week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, well, uh, if you have time, try to practice on the platform because remember that you have to take um, an exam. And then uh, after the old uh, video conference, you are going to request a certificate about this uh, level, that's mean 
pre, pre advanced. So you're going to go to pre advanced three. If I remember, let me see. Yes, pre advanced number three. So uh, try to solve it on time because after the time pass, uh, you are you won't be able to take it anymore. So be careful with that. Uh, let's see if I have a lot of people here, Ronald and uh, Sylvia, maybe. Okay, I am going to start with the class today. And um, I was waiting for Sara Sandoval. I thought that she was connected because she asked me something that maybe, um, could, maybe could be interesting for all of you about some exercise that are in platform and that you are going to see later in, in section number three and four, but uh, she asked me something. Remember that you can, uh, you can take the classes in the platform. It doesn't matter if you go through um, section five, so it doesn't matter, you can do it, uh, but you have to uh, attend the whole video conference, at least the 80% of the video conference to um, go to, through the next level. Okay, let me see. Let me show you something. Um, well, first of all, um, the topic that we're going to be talking about, um, it's auxiliary verbs. Uh, we're going to know how they work, uh, what are some uh, the characteristics, and also we're going to see uh, some um, ways to short uh, sentences using auxiliary verbs. Let's see, uh, before to start and go to the topic, I want you to read this, um, this quote and tell me, what do you think about it? I want you to practice English. So try to uh, read the, the, the quote and tell me, what do you think? Uh, I will be asking. Um, the first one is going to be, let me see, uh, Mr. Jose Ramirez, you're the first one. So tell me. Yes. Okay, tell me. Uh, read a quote in and tell me what do you think about it. Yeah, about the, the slide. Yes, the quote that we have there, it says, happiness is not a, a destination, it is a way of life. What do you think about it? Okay. Let me uh, Analyze. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. It's, I don't know. Is is something uh, uh, that is not easy to to understand in, in, in a first time. I think it is. A, a, I we have to think a little about that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yes, um, yes. Uh -huh. so the, the, the happiness is, is something that uh, we can uh, look for that. And that is not this, uh, it's something that it, the life we have to everybody, I think. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, um, Miss Miss Lopez. Yeah. Uh, yes. So tell me, what do you think about this quote? It's true. It's true. But depend uh, a lot of every people, every person. Because not everybody see the same thing or the same way, I think, or I see the life. Most people say, when I get, when I have, when I go to, but nothing happened. Nothing, a real of that. And not enjoy, 
the way. Okay, very good. Um, thank you. So, Mr. Um, let me see who's there. Um, Mr. Evaristo. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me, what do you think about this quote? Yeah, uh, it is true. Um, I think the life is a process. You know, uh, in the process, we can connect with people, enjoy the, you know, like, uh, sharing with the with with friends uh, it's not about the world you know is it's about relation rel, how do you say Re, i can pronounce the relationship or relation relationships okay relationships yeah okay very good uh let's see someone else uh, is there anyone who wants to participate and tell what do you think about it okay no one else miss miss garcia you want to participate okay <clears throat> sorry okay. good night I think uh, the happiness uh, it really is, is a way of life because depend on the mind of each people. Because when you feel good with the thing that you do, you do all is right. For example, um, when the person is satisfied with the activities the, the person do in his family is, is good for her. I think is happy. In non, it's no um, a destination. I think is is the the goals that you that you reach is if you if you feel good i think it's nice to life okay yes okay. yes that's true so uh, as it say happiness is not a destination why because there is a um it's not something what that uh, something that we need to achieve happiness is the way you live, the way you feel, okay? Um, maybe, well, we, we can see a lot of things um, about happiness because um, maybe you're happy with, with your family, uh, with things that you have, uh, with life, okay? Um, the thing is that sometimes uh, there is a confusion between happiness um, in a goal that someone wants to achieve. For instance, some people can say, no, if I, were, if I have money, I could be happy, okay? Um, but the thing is not, because um, it, while you are trying uh, to get money, okay, and after you achieve it, uh, maybe you have lost family, maybe you have lost friends, okay? And you have money. And uh, the thing is, when you are there, you think, so well, when I'm, what, what do I have to do right now? Yes, of course, uh, the money is something that <laughs> make us feel comfortable, okay? That's, that, that's true. Uh, money make, make us feel com comfortable, but it's no happiness, okay? Because happiness is uh, are in, the, in the small things that we're living daily, okay, in family, uh, with friends, and uh, with in the society in general. So, so well, uh, we're going to go to the following uh, slide. 
let me go through it. Okay, and this is the topic that we're going to be focused tonight. Uh, auxiliary verbs. And what are auxiliary verbs? This is the question. Uh, well, we're going to, to start with this. What are auxiliary verbs or what is an auxiliary verb? Okay, do you have any answer about it? Let's see. Auxiliary verb. Have you ever listened? No? Yes? No. Maybe. Yes. Okay, tell me, mister. No, I think that we have to listen something. <laughs> okay. So, when we're talking about auxiliary verbs, it refers to those verbs that help others to communicate an action. Okay, we're going to see some of them. Uh, we're going to watch this video and then we're going to discuss. So pay attention to it. Um, I will share, well, I will stop sharing and I will share again because I have to share some. So give me a second, I will do it this way. Okay, there, check it out this. So pay attention, then we're going to discuss. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, so there in the video we have um, four different parks have been lost. Four different auxiliary verbs. Check it out. This we have the auxiliary verb is, are, um, has, and have. Well, in the first one, and let me so let me move something here. Okay, in the first one, in the first um, example that we have here, we have a is, are, has, and have. How they are reduced. When we write a sentence, uh, maybe we can shot it using pronouns. Uh, the following slide, um, on the, the, the question that says, um, oh, sorry. The question that said, what does auxiliary verbs mean? It says that um, we have in English uh, five verbs forms in English as an auxiliary verb. Those auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs. Um, and, they, and those helping verbs are used with the main verb to indicate tense, aspect, or in voice. If we have to categorize each one, we can uh, say that uh, those auxiliary verbs are be, have, and do. And also we have uh, some other auxiliary verbs that are called modal auxiliary verbs. We're going to check some uh, examples of it. First of all, um, V. V can be used with present continuous aspect. Okay, V can be used with past passive voice and have can be used with present perfect aspect. Also, we have do that can be uh, used as past negation. When writing a, a sentence and we want to reduce some of those are so some of those uh, auxiliary verbs we use the apostrophe, okay? And the apostrophe, it's like a small, um, 
and a small symbol that is used to join and uh, make the sentence shorter. Let me write you an example. I will use the, the, the whiteboard right now. Give me a second. Um, let's see the whiteboard here. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. yes. Thank yes, you. Sure. Okay. Let me write an example here. I am drinking water. Okay. This is the, the first um, example that we have here. I am drinking water. This is um, this is a sentence that is also called uh, present continuous, but in this one we're using a helping verb. The helping verb that we're using is am. Um, okay, tonight um, in this class we are going to learn how to make uh, that sentence shorter um, reducing the sentence with the auxiliary verbs. In this case, uh, am is the auxiliary verb and we can do it in this way. I, sorry, I will use um, the text, it's much better. This way, I am drinking water. Okay, check it out now. The first one we say I am drinking water. In the second uh, in the second one we say I'm drinking water. We are reducing um, the the sentence is uh, reducing uh, also the auxiliary verb. Instead of say I am, we say am. Okay, that's just shorter. It's in, in it's uh, it's a uh, um, it's a way to express something quickly. Uh, I am, um, okay. So let's see some other examples of reduce sentence with auxiliary verbs. Uh, let me check if you pay attention to the video. Do you remember what other uh, auxiliary verbs do we have? We have the verb be, and also, which one? Have, the verb? Have. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to work with it. And do. Do. Yeah. And do too, yes. Uh, we're going to work first of all with uh, the auxiliary verb have, okay? And we're going to use a sentence in past, I mean, in present perfect. Let me write a sentence in present perfect. Okay. Okay, here we have the person perfect. I have drunk water. Okay, I have drunk water. In this kind of sentence, instead of saying I have, we can say in this form, I. Okay. And here we have the sentence. I have drunk water. I drunk water. So, can you think in a in, in a past participle verb and use this um, present perfect with it using uh, the small form of I have? So, 
write down your answer in the chat of this video conference. Think about it. Think about a sentence and write it down in the chat of this video conference. I will stop sharing. Okay. This is an exercise that you're going to do right now. So please type in, in your computer a, a sentence using past perfect and using the short form of I have. Okay, very good. We have the first one, Neftali. Uh, he said, I have good chicken. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, very good. So, uh, Neftali, how we can change? Okay, very good. Uh, Ronald Barrera, uh, I have stolen money. Okay, I have played basketball. Very good. I had played basketball. Let's see, someone else. I have a, how many people do we are? We are 13 people and we have just five answers. She has both red shoes, very good. I clean my house. Nice. I have the will. Okay, very good. You have the good answers. Remember, those sentences that you post there, you can use it in a shorter word. Wait, I mean, instead of saying, I had cooked chicken, we can say, I cook chicken. I, I cook chicken. In that way, we can, we made the sentence shorter, okay? Instead of saying, I have stolen money, we can say, I stolen money, okay? So instead of saying, I had played basketball, I had played basketball. We can say it, I play basketball. All the sentences we can uh, use the short form of a have. In this case is the one. I would use the whiteboard again. In this case is this one, this option. Instead of saying I have, we say I. Okay, let's go to the following. Um, let me show you presentation again. Here, we go, we're going to this. In English, there are some other forms of uh, making the, the, the sentence shorter or reducing the sentence. So in this way, we can do it in, the, in, in this form. Uh, here we are. Using the verb V, okay? In this case, we have am. Um. Instead of saying a uh, am, um, we can say am um, for I am, okay? S, we can use it for is, like it is or it, and the man's and the man is also the same form is used for the positive and that, that in this case is like uh, she is okay she is she is uh we have the other form of the verb be that is are mostly um we use it like with it with a pronoun we we are okay we are you are, they are, where, you're, there. 
have. Uh, in this case, is this uh, this is an auxiliary verb that can be used like I've, you've, we've, and they've. Okay, those are some of the um, the the ways to reduce or auxiliary verb. Here we have some other examples. S. Okay, uh, this is the auxiliary verb has. Uh, the auxiliary verb has. Okay, this one uh, can be shorter. Can be shorter, just uh, like saying it has, she has. You may use like uh, it's, um, she's. So and it mean um, has using the auxiliary verb. And then we have uh, the letter V. Uh, this one is used for auxiliary had and would, okay? Uh, it is common use like I, you, cheat, hit, eat, with, date, and would, okay? Um, also, we have another short way to say um, uh, will, okay? In this case is LL, like, um, also can be used using the word for future shalt, okay? Shalt and will means the same. It, it is when we construct sentence for the future. Will and, and a shalt, these words, okay? So, uh, and also we have uh, some other uh, informal ways in English to make uh, or reduce the auxiliaries. In this case, uh, sometimes it is used S for does and the letter D for did. But in this case, uh, those form of the auxiliary verbs um, are used just in informal cases. Okay, uh, just in informal writings, um, because they doesn't correspond to the formal um, writing of English. Uh, here we have an example: What he do there? Who do you see there? In this case, the letter D is for did, and the letter S is for does. Okay. So let's go to the following slide. What can we do? Okay, what can we do? This is another topic um, that we are going to be discussing tonight, but let's see, uh, let's check uh, if you have any questions right now about this topic. Do you have any question? Yes, I have a question. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Uh, auxiliary verb is the same that uh, verb to be? Yes, in some forms. Uh, the auxiliary verb, let me use the marker Just you need here. to have the contraction. Okay, let, let me answer in this way. Uh, the auxiliary uh, verb be it has a lot of uh, forms, okay? We have forms for a uh, past and also we have form for present. In this case, the verb be, to be, I will write it here. The verb be has in present three different forms. The first one is am, that you already know. The first one is is, and the second one is are. Okay, those are the three form of the verb be. These ones can be used um, as an auxiliary verb to express um, present continuous, okay? For instance, we saw a, a sentence that it says, um, she is writing, okay? She is writing because the action is happening in that moment. She is present continuous, but, uh, we can also use the form instead of saying 
she is, we can use the, uh, the shorter form that it says, uh, that in this way we say, she's writing, she's writing, okay? It's, um, it's a way to reduce the sentence. I would write it here. I'm going to use this auxiliary verb, okay? You are, you are talking. You are talking. Instead of saying you are talking, we 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 doing it this way. Your okay, you apostrophe, and in that way. So we reduce the, the sentence in that way, and that happened also with the verb be in past because uh, this is just for sim. This is just for present, okay? In this case, we're using present continuous, but there is there are other forms in English in where we can use the verb to be in past. Uh, the verb to be in past can be like was and were. That is another way to express or use the verb be was and were, okay? Uh, were, we can use it with negative and uh, also was, we can use it with negative to uh, reduce a sentence. For instance, I was not working. I was not working. If we notice, we are using, um, uh, the, the auxiliary was in the sentence that can be reduced like, I wasn't working, I wasn't, I wasn't working. So in, the, in that way, we can, we can reduce sentences using the verb be. Um, it is clear what I'm saying? Is it clear yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, um, we're going to watch a video. I mean, uh, yes, let me ask, uh, Miss, the ones who asked me about this, um, do you have any other questions about it before going through the next video? Hello? No question. No teacher. No. Okay. Thank you. So um, the topic for this class, for this, I mean, this part, this section is what can we do? What can we do? You can find that um, topic there in your platform. And there you have a video. Let me show you the video. Okay, this is the objective for, for the section. It says, in this section, participants will listen to how give solutions to problems. Let me show you this. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Are you able? Okay, there we have. Can you see the screen right now? Yes. Okay, so please pay. Pay attention to the video. Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? 
Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Okay, so first of all, we're going to answer that question. What do Carla and Andy um, going to do? So let's see. Where is time to discuss? They will go to the TV show. Okay, very good. They're going to go to the TV show. What okay. is the reason? What is the reason of going to the TV show? The factory outside town that's pumping chemical into the river. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, what else? What is the problem? What is the general problem in this conversation? What is the general problem of this conversation? That there are a lot of uh, fishes uh, in depth in the river. Exactly, yes, that's true. There are a lot of uh, dead fish, okay? There are a lot of dead fish in the river. Very good. And what do you think they are going to do? They are going to uh, go to the TV show, yes or not? Because remember, there is something that happened here in this, in this conversation. Check it out this. Uh, in the last sentence or the last thing that Carla said, um, is oh no my uncle is one of their top executive so do you think they are going to um, go to the TV uh, and run that history that they try to 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 tell to everyone or to say everyone maybe don't maybe they won't okay okay. Let's see. What else? What do you think? The uncle could lose the job. Yes, could lose the job. Okay. What else? So, uh, practice your English. So w w this exercise is for a uh, practicing. It's for speaking. So. Uh, give me ideas. What do you think they are going to do? What are other options that they have? I think that Carla called, called talking with with her with his her uncle and explain the problem in the river. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's true, that's a, that's a good option, okay? Um, one of the things that uh, they can do is talk uh, with them directly using uh, the uncle of, of Carla, okay? Or Carla's uncle. Um, because if he is one of the top executive, uh, he has power, okay? To stop doing those things that they are doing in the river. Very good. So uh, we're going to practice right now. We're going to check some of the exercise that you have because um, and some of you asked me about some problems that you have in a platform. Uh, let me see the first one. I don't know if there, if there, I mean, if 
Sara Sandoval is there. No, I can see it in, in this. So we're going to go through another questions um, in the exercise. Give me a second. Um, let me check some of them. Ah, okay. Uh, some problems that we have in the unit number two, um, because there is an error in the platform. Do you already complete the exercise of the unit number two? I mean, section number two. Yes or not? Does anyone here uh, complete the whole exercise of the unit? Um, I mean, section number two. <laughs> I'm still saying unit and there is. Uh, I completed the unit me. two, but I, I don't get the whole the exercise. You didn't complete all the, the, the whole exercise. Okay. Yeah. Can you please tell me uh, the number of that exercise? Okay. Let me, let me check this. Okay, sure. Go ahead. We'll stop here. Okay, I have the, the first uh, exercise and at the first uh, knowledge checks and the uh, section two in the first sentences I I cannot complete. You haven't complete? Ah, okay, tell me which one. Is uh, the number one of the first of the section two. Uh, the, the first of the two, section two, number that two knowledge check. Ah, uh, not a check. Okay. The number one that says uh, rewrite the sentence using passive in the preposition given. Don't forget to use capital letters in periods. Okay, very good. Yeah, so in, in that exercise, it's supposed that we're going to use uh, the passive voice uh, using the, the, the word by, right? So, um, in this exercise, um, let me check. Okay. Okay. Tell me, mister, um, what is the answer that you are typing in that, uh, in that sentence? Okay, uh, the answer is the, the health of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. Yes, that's right. So? Yeah. And I, uh, I, I put the, the, the capital letter in the, what is the, the, the name of the point? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let me check what is the problem. The health of people in urban areas. Oh, can you repeat it again, please? The health of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. Okay, let me write it uh, in the way you are telling me right now. Uh, can yeah, but I think can be the, the right time to. Okay, because I, in the way you're telling me uh, that sentence, it's like this. The health of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. That's right? Yeah, yes, it's treated. Ah, okay. Okay, it's- yeah, I, I, I wrote a uh, bad treatment. Uh, I wrote treatment. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, got it. So that's mean uh, that. Okay, got it. That's mean that you want. Uh, I mean, you write 
uh, treating it instead of saying, instead of writing it or typing it in that way, treating it. Just the, just the word, okay? Okay, very good. So in this case, you have the okay. first one. In this case, yes, you have the first that. one. That it that says- is the, the correct answer. Yes. The head of people, so you tell, you uh, told me the sentence in, in a, in a right way, but the thing is the spelling of treating it, okay? So yeah. you have the first one, the first exercise that says, the hill of people in urban areas is being treated by air pollution. Um, remember, every time that you are going to write a sentence in a platform, you must include, you must include the capital letter and also the period at the end of the sentence because if you don't do it, the the platform won't check uh, or I mean won't show you a correct answer. It's going to be wrong. Uh, I will stop sharing this. Teacher. Ah, okay. Tell me. I have a problem with the number th three and four. Your problem with the number three and four. Okay, let's see. Um, tell me what is your answer because in that way I can help you. Okay, acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Okay, the answer is correct. So I will ask you to write it down because maybe it could be a spelling mistake while you're writing the, the, the sentence. Uh, can, you, can you please uh, write down there? In the chat. You can do it in the whiteboard. Um, Excuse me, teacher. And uh, what is the way to use the whiteboard using the platform? Okay. Um. Let me see. Uh, you can use the whiteboard if you are using a computer. Are you using a computer? Yes, I use. So, it, so in the top of the uh, of this program of this whiteboard, you have like a band, and. There you have the option of select, text, draw, stamp, spotlight, erase, format, and some other options. If you type in text, and then you type in the whiteboard, you are going to write. You can use it that way. Okay, I, I, okay, I everybody don't you see were the, the, the band, but I think that can be that I, I am using the 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 app the application can be the problem because uh, sometimes if you use the application or you use an internet it's different okay okay because uh, okay so evaristo can you please uh, uh write in in the whiteboard okay and a silva is writing yes very good someone else Okay, here we have Ana Silva. Um, let's see, acid rain has been created as a result of burning of gas, oil, and coal. So I saw a mistake there. Yes, I saw a mistake because there is, um, I don't know if you can see the screen. No, yes or no? Are you seeing? Are you seeing the whiteboard or the screen? Mm, the screen. The screen. So you can check in this part. Uh, so, the whiteboard or the screen. The whiteboard. Ah, the whiteboard. Okay. Check it out this. 
the, the, the sentence is correct in general, but there is something missing, okay? There is something missing and I will explain you why. I will pause this, um, this sentence there. What is it? Here. Check it out. This sentence. There. Can you identify the mistake? Can you identify the mistake? You have there? to put the comma. You yes. have to put the comma after oil. Exactly, yes. Every time that you're going to write a list of things, you must include a comma before and. Um, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of thing, just, just in case that um, the list has a different levels uh, or a different level, uh, you won't include the comma. But in this case, yes, because all, all, the, all those things refer to, to a group and a specific. In, the, in this case, it's gas, oil, and coal. All of them are raw materials. Um, I mean, materials and, and, and uh, they're extract from- Thank you so much. Okay, there. So um, be careful with this. Uh, for instance, if you write a name of, or a type of, of different animals, like uh, cats, dogs, and coats, if you write it in that way, you must include a comma. A, 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 after the word cat, after the word a dog, and we're going to write N, okay, code. You must do it in that way, like in this, like in this example that we have here. Okay, the other one, what was the, the, the other problem that you mentioned? The number four, I have okay. a problem with, with okay, that. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. me too. Yes, I guess everybody has the same uh, problem here. But this one is no a problem of, of your sentences because you showed me last time. This is a problem of the platform that must be solved uh, in, in sending a report to, to about this exercise because you can send it, um, and also uh, I will do it too. Well, I, I currently, I did, I send the, the, the report uh, because there is a problem with that sentence. Uh, they are referred to different things. The sentence that we have here is the use of CFCs in products like hair spray has created a hold in ozone layer. Okay, that's the sentence. But the answer um, that I, I checked was related to the amount of farmland. Uh, and it doesn't correspond to the sentence, okay? So for that reason, uh, you won't have like, uh, in, in a correct way, the exercise number four of this uh, part. But after it can be solved, so well, let me see. If it is so for tomorrow, I will tell you in the video conference and then you can complete it. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good idea. Okay, very good. So uh, we have finished the class for today. Uh, please, if you want, uh, if you want me, to explain something about the platform, please let me know. Uh, also, if you want to check any topic that may be uh, for your interest or for uh, the interest of everybody, you can tell me, hey, uh, mister, can you please uh, talk about this in the following class? You can use the, the, the WhatsApp group. You can write there and, and tell. So uh, I would like to see 
uh, how this thing works in English, for instance. So you can do it in that way. Please ask me because I like when you are practicing English and you're interacting each other in the group. You are going to have um, an, 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 a homework to do it in, in the WhatsApp in the group. I want you to um, write something. Okay, I want you to write something in the WhatsApp group. It could be like a quote. It could be a, something that you may like. Uh, and then someone else or um, two, three, three people there is going to reply your uh, comment, okay? So if you do it in that way, you are going to be practicing. For instance, Mr. Ramirez, uh, he is going to write a sentence and then uh, Mr. Um, Evaristo and Ms. Uh, Lopez uh, is going to reply it. Is going to answer that. Oh, I think uh, that this thing could be, or I think, or I have a, an idea about this. So something that uh, that you can comment within uh, everybody there in the in the in the WhatsApp group. So uh, do it that way, and I will be wa waiting for your comments there to see who is going to participate in that exercise. So uh, it was a pleasure to be with you today. We're going to see, uh, well, let's see, yes, tomorrow. We're going to uh, work tomorrow um, at the same time at eight o'clock. And uh, that's all for today. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, mister.